What's important to note about Yesware templates is that they actually live in two different places. The first is in your Yesware sidebar when composing a message. The Insert Templates button will bring you to all of the templates you have created and saved. Or if you're a member of any teams on your Yesware account, any templates that have been shared in any of those team folders, you can also access from this view. But in order to create your templates and manage them, you're actually going to do that from your Yesware administration page by clicking on the menu button in your Yesware inbox sidebar and selecting the Manage Templates hyperlink. For anyone that's already familiar with template, you'll be brought to a dashboard view of all of the templates you have created. And in order to create a new template, you're going to select the new template button up top here. You're first going to give your template a name, one that easily allows you to know what the template and the content is about. You'll then select a folder to save your template in. For anybody that is listed as a leader of any Yesware teams on the account, you can opt to share the template that you're creating with a particular team and in a particular team folder. You can give your template a subject line. The subject line is totally optional. So if you're not sending a full email template, you can opt to not include a subject line. You'll then come down to the body, which is where you'll craft up the message for your template. We have a number of tools up top here to adjust things like font and size and include bullets and numbering. You can insert tracked links as well as images into your template. If you have your meeting scheduler link set up, you can insert your meeting scheduler link or any meeting types you have saved. You can add tracked attachments and even presentations to your template. And then you can insert merge fields, which will be a way for you to personalize the templates that you're sending to your recipients. For those of you that are enterprise users, you have the option of including a Salesforce field where we'll be able to pull in a field from your Salesforce page layout. When you select that option and click on the drop down arrow, you can choose from the list the exact field that you would like to use. You can also insert a text field, which acts as a placeholder or even a fill in. So we're gonna use this text field to be reminded to enter some sort of greeting for our message. And then you can also enter in a drop down option. You'll fill in the name of the field for the drop down and enter in the different options for that drop down. And when it comes time to send to your recipient, you can select the option accordingly. Now, before saving your template, you can opt to use our Response Insights tool, which provides insight about your message in order to receive more engagement from your recipients. You can even click into each one of these options here to see additional tricks and tips. And then you can save your template down here at the bottom. To use our template in an email, you can go ahead and open up a new Compose window in your Outlook mailbox. If you have any Salesforce merge fields included in your template, you do wanna make sure that you have the email address of your recipient listed in the to field first. So that way we can easily identify the record in Salesforce and populate the information for you. You'll then select the Insert Templates button from your Yesware sidebar. And 
and then locate the template in the folder that you have saved it in. There's two different ways you can insert your template into an email. The first is using the insert button, which will insert the template as is, meaning it will insert as, hi, first name, greeting, which I'm sure that you probably don't want happening. So instead, you can actually click into your template and using the show more button, you can fill in each of the different fields. You'll notice that we're actually able to fill in the first name automatically for this recipient since they are a saved record in Salesforce. So now all we have to do is enter in our greeting. And specify the sales rep that this user worked with. Now when we click insert, it'll insert our template into the message. Templates also don't have to be full email messages. They can be sets of instructions or even hyperlinks that you find yourself sending frequently to accounts and prospects. And you can also insert more than one template into a single email. For example, if we want to send instructions to our user here, we can locate the set of instructions and insert that template right into the email. Now we can continue adding to the body of this message if we'd like, typing in any additional information. And then once everything looks good, you can go ahead and send your template.